everybody, I'm Andrew Brogdon and welcome back to the Mobile Ads Garage. Today, with the help of Gary the Graphics Guy, I'm going to cover the ad life cycle. I'm going to show you what events occur in the life of an ad, how to use listeners and delegates to tap into them, and then I'll have a real world example that puts it all together. If you're not already familiar with ad events, they're a fundamental piece of the Mobile Ads SDK. They can tell you what's going on with your ads, like when they're done loading, when they've opened, and so on. Every format has them, so if you're using the SDK at all, this is an important thing to know about. All right, so here are the basic events in the life of an ad mob ad. Now, some formats have some extra stuff. Uh, rewarded video has a reward event, for example, but these are the big five. Let's drill down. When you make an ad request, the ad either loads or fails to load. So those are the first two events. If the ad does load successfully, you move on. First up is presenting, also called opening on Android. This means that the ad has caused something to appear on screen that covers your interface. Uh, when an interstitial or rewarded video ad gets displayed, for example, this event happens. It's a way for the SDK to say, heads up, I just covered your UI with something. Uh, the opposite of opening, of course, is closing or dismissing the ad. And last, we have leaving the app. When the user taps on an ad and the SDK opens a browser or another app in response, you get this event. And it's actually the best one because it means the user and the ad were a good match for each other and you get credit for a click through. All right, so those are the big five events, but how do you tap into them? For that, the SDK offers listeners on Android and delegates on iOS. There's actually a few different kinds. There you go. Uh, it's a scary big list, but the good news is you don't have to memorize it. Uh, the ad object will tell you. If you're on iOS, just look for a delegate property. And on Android, look for a set listener method. You find that and you know which type of listener or delegate goes with the object. Uh, for example, here's the set listener method for an ad view. I can see from the signature that it takes an ad listener object. And for iOS, it's the same deal. Just look for a delegate property on the ad object. There you go. GAD banner view delegate. Once you've got that, make your own implementation and add methods for the events you're interested in. Uh, loading, for example. On Android, you can override the on ad loaded method. And on iOS, you implement did receive ad. When an ad fails to load, there's on ad failed to load and did fail to receive ad with error. These include an error code that describes the problem. For an ad opening, there's on ad opened and will present screen. And for dismissing or closing, you have on ad closed on Android and two methods on iOS, will dismiss screen and did dismiss screen. So you can get notified before and after the event. And finally, if a click through opens a browser or external app, there's will leave application on iOS and on ad left application on Android. One last little detail, and it's actually a difference between the platforms. On Android, leaving the app also counts as opening the ad if it's not already open. So if your user taps on a banner, for example, you'll get on ad opened, then on ad left application, and when the user comes back, you'll see on ad close get fired. So that's a little extra info you get from the Android SDK. All right, so we've covered the events and how to find the right listener or delegate and use it. Let's put it all together with an example. Say I've got an Android app that plays music videos and I've monetized it with a Native Express ad. There's the interface. There's a bunch of ways that ad events can help me here, but first, I need to get wired up. Here are the steps. First, I'm gonna set an ad listener for my Native Express ad. Then I'm gonna add individual methods for the events I care about, and then rock out. So step one, setting the listener. Native Express ad view objects accept the ad listener class. So I can call set ad listener in my activities on create and give it an instance just like I would with an on click listener for a button. And that's it, listener set. Now I can add individual methods for the events I care about. Uh, let's say my ad view starts out hidden and I wanna show it once the ad is loaded. All I need to do is override on ad loaded and put in the code to make it visible. So I get something like this. How about when the ad fails to load? Maybe I'd like to try again just in case. All I have to do is add another method to my listener for on ad fail to load. It's good to put some kind of flag or count in place though to make sure you don't keep trying to load an ad over and over again if there's no internet connection. Otherwise, the SDK will keep dutifully trying to load forever. Uh, now this app is all about playing music videos, which is great because Gary rocks like no other. Ironically, that's actually true. But if my user taps on an ad and leaves the app to go to a browser, I probably want to stop video playback. I can do that by adding a listener method override for on ad left application and then some code to stop playback. That way, when the user taps on an ad, the video gets paused just as they leave for a browser or the Play Store. And on ad close tells me the user has come back from leaving the app, so it's time to crank the party back up. 
All right, so that's our real world example. I've got a native Express ad that's shown when it's done loading and an app that's smart enough to pause playback when there's a click through. This is the power that ad events give you and they're a great tool to have in your belt. Uh, I used Android for this video, but if you code in Swift or Objective-C, we've got an example for you up on GitHub. I'll also sneak in our Android example for anybody who's interested. Uh, I've got guides that I can point you to for both platforms. And as always, you're welcome to bring your technical questions to our support forum. And if you've got a question about this video or an idea for something we should cover, leave a comment below and Gary and I will see you next time.